This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. So, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You all received the minutes. Uh, um, can you call? Can you call the meeting to order at a certain time? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm uh, calling the meeting at 11.03. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for sending the minutes. So okay. we all no review the minutes that we had, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in May. Yep. Uh, May 11. And we had them right before, our meeting was right before the elections. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that's why, okay, let's, uh, you had all the a chance to read the minutes. Um, any questions? Um, uh, Sylvia, if I can just make a comment, Francine cannot um, approve the minutes because she wasn't really here to. She wasn't no, here. I, am, I understand, so. I wasn't, I was no, I, no, I know, I just, yeah. I didn't know if Sylvia understood, yeah. but just, okay, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, when I, when I, Put the agenda together. I went like, uh, shall we put the Nuisbes first to elect the mm -hmm. blah blah? But let's yeah. just go with it. Yeah. So yeah, just also this gives you a, a background, uh, Francine, of where we yeah. where we were in May. Uh, before yeah. you Join us. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. And it was um, pretty short meeting actually. It was very short. It yeah. Was very short. It was yeah. very short. And that was a very tough morning. Yes, as you remember. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. And, so. uh, yeah. And we had to suddenly stop when you got that call. So, uh, Francie and I had um, during our meeting, well, we're being recorded. So it's okay. kind of, yeah, let's yeah, just, but, yeah. 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 So, okay. So, but I'll motion um, to approve them um, as is. All righty. Uh, what do you say, Bill? Do you want to second that? I approve them. Okay. So, okay. I'll go. All right, thank you. Uh, oh, okay. So, um, do we agree to move? Well, let's let's continue with all business. Um, any news you want to give us about the mail uh, May elections review? Since we were not here, uh, like how many people uh, did attend? Yeah. Um, I just want to. We were all in favor for that, right? To yes. Approve? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, so the May elections, um, there was 661 ballots cast, um, or 60, 661 voters checked in, so, and 661 ballots were cast. Um, so uh, very, very low turnout, very surprising, but there really wasn't a lot on the ballot, um, except for the question. <laughs> You know, right. um, I mean, I would have thought with a, two select board seating seats open that there would have been more, but, you know. Um, you had mentioned that how many people got uh, mailing ballots or- uh, Over 800, 800, which is got very, it. very disappointing because we had more go out than we had cast. Return. So David, how um, many how many people actually use their mail-in ballot if you only um, had 661 a maybe, percentage just uh, guess uh, I think we had 300 and something yeah less less than yeah. half about 30 percent 35 percent yeah yep yeah. so uh and I'll get to that after about um, what I learned yesterday but um That's yeah it was very you. very low turnout very disappointing. Um, so, I mean, I don't know what else we can do to get people to vote. I'm go we're gonna try to come up with some more strategies, you know, get the word out more, but it all comes down to budget. <laughs> you know, I, I can't do anything more without any kind of money or we can't do anything more without money. You know, signage and paper and getting the word out, you know, the Gazette costs money to put ads in. And so, I mean, we put, we post the warrant, you know, so, um, but um, it is what it was. So, you know, the, 
uh, there was no issues. Um, it, you know, it's done. <laughs> so it's done. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just one. It just occurred to me. PSAs, um, like in Channel Twenty Two, and uh, mm -hmm. yep, uh, I did. Those are free. Uh, right, right. And I try. I just emailed Channel Twenty Two about um, a certain thing, and I have not heard back from them. So, okay. you know, um, if you email them, it's not guaranteed that you're going to hear back from them, Correct. or they're not going to do everything that you, you know, ask them. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe I have to get back in touch with East Hampton Media, but everybody knows when the election is. And a lot of people commented on the community page that they didn't know when the election is. But we had a sign out front. Um, it was on the website. I mean, that morning, Channel Channel 22 did actually say there was, is, was an election. election. So, um, you know, uh, the warrant was posted in the posting locations. So, I mean, I know other small towns send out postcards, you know, and they send it out saying, stating when the election is and when the town meeting is, but that's, go, you know, that's a lot of money. Postage is going up on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah you know. And we, you know, you, there was, I noted that there was a, 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 a light um, sign mm -hmm. outside. Yep. And I asked Ed if I could use those for the election. And he said, they were being used by the air show. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. You should put a standing order in for the first Tuesday as, and the third Tuesday in May. Well, as soon as the budget comes through, I'm going to order some stuff, some yes. new signage. And um, when we get to um, uh, the part of our agenda about um, anything that can't wait, I will tell you of some new things I learned. So, okay. but all, right. um, all in all, you know, we did get a, a PPP board elected. So that's a good thing. It was a good thing. Um, finance, you know, we're still looking for people. So, um, but we can only do so much. For sure. So, but yeah, I don't know what's, I don't have the agenda right in front of me, so I'm not sure what was next, but. Uh, the next is uh, the follow-up discussion about the caucus that we started talking uh, our yeah. last meeting uh, mm -hmm. about not, pu not pursuing, given yeah. uh, the amount of people that came that night, mm -hmm. and, you know, the people that yeah. signed up and the voting that happened at, at, at that meeting, mm -hmm. the caucus uh, not to pursue anymore, uh, doing away with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Francine, have you been caught up about that? Uh, we we talked about, um, you know, doing away with it. Um, and I think we had brought it up to the select board when you were on the select board. But then we, as the Board of Registrars, had talked about it and thought that we should keep the caucus um, for now because... Um, we can't get people to go on boards now. So if at the caucus people can be nominated, then, you know. Yeah, and it was, I think it was pretty well attended. Yeah, I think while I've been town clerk and the assistant town clerk, I think this is the biggest group that has attended, you know. Yeah, we passed so. the word, we, we talked to people and. Mm -hmm. and yep. It worked. Yeah, yeah, so. So let's stay with it for now. Yeah. See if there's any changes in the future. Okay. Yeah. New business. Introduction of new board member. Hello, Francine. <laughs> Hi, Francine. Hi. Introduce okay. yourself. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Francine Tisha. We've been, I moved to Southampton in 2008. And since that time served at, not in, in chronological order, six years as a member of the finance committee, five years as a member of the select board, and God knows how many years I've been on the bylaws committee. It seems like forever, right, Lucy? <laughs> okay. But um, so I've, I've been 
pretty active all around. Um, I'm winding down. I, I still want to serve the community, but probably, um, you know, less frequently when with less responsibility to, to some extent until I read the manual of the <laughs> registrars. And that put things in a whole different perspective for me. But so that that's my story. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bill, you want to introduce yourself to Francine? Yeah, I'm Bill Walden. Uh, I've been a resident of Southampton since 1968. Uh, <laughs> worked in Hartford for 30 years, <laughs> so I'm unknown to some extent. <laughs> the Hampshire Regional School Committee for about 12 years, along with my wife. Well, she was on for 13. It's uh, that's about it until I started with the registrars. I served with our home church, disaster relief in uh, Mississippi and Texas after Katrina. And that took a fair bit of time. My wife and I were driving down to Mississippi a number of times, staying there for a week, couple of weeks at a time. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, that was a challenge. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I have uh, three kids living in town, two of them with their families. Uh, my oldest is a widow, uh, engaged to be married again. So who knows what will happen? <laughs> All right. Well, nice to meet you. No, same here. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, Francine, we know each other. <laughs> we do. <clears throat> and uh, Lucy, you want to say something? Town, Lucy Dalton, town clerk. <laughs> I was the assistant for uh, three and a half years, and then I became the interim town clerk in 2018, of November 2018, then became the elected in 2019. I'll be here for nine years in October, um, working for the town. So um, that's about it. I'm on the, I was on the Ham, uh, the Norris School Committee um, for three years and served as the Hampshire Regional um, Liaison for them. Uh, that's about it. I have, you know, two kids, 21 year old, 18 year old, and I love working for the community. I love this community. So that's about it. And I'm on the uh, bylaw committee with Francine as um, ex officio um, member. Uh, sorry, I have to watch the door just in case um, because my assistant has gone for the day. Uh, and we're waiting for the attorney general to come through and uh, approve the new bylaws that were approved at the town meeting. So that's about it. That's all. Oh, and I'm a board of registrars. Yes. I, I, I forgot to say something. I'm, I'm not sure I need to disclose this or not, but uh, I'm also the treasurer of the Friends of the Council on Aging. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right. Okay. Well, welcome. Welcome, Francine. Yes. Good. Thank welcome you. Good to have you here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Francine, I just wanted to let you know that um, as a registrar, um, and Bill and Sylvia know this, that, um, and I have told them this as well, that you, you know, there's a lot of signing <laughs> sometimes. And, um, you can order a stamp if you're ever away. You can order a stamp with your name on it. If you don't, if you're not here, you can order a stamp. There are people that have done that. Um, they have not elected to do that, but you could if you wanted to. But um, once um, the petitions start coming through, um, there is a lot of signatures, um, uh, a lot of petitions that need to be signed off on it requires three so there's four of us so if one of us isn't okay. here at least three need to be um signed so hold on okay. one second 
I'm just going to um, mute myself. Uh, if I sure. Can... Uh, the next the next step is elect uh, officers. So, OK. I'm just going to mute myself for one second. Can you hold on? Sure. I just wanted to ask you to do, do you have signature stamps? No. No. OK. No. So you go in each time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And and. Uh, you know, it's it's although you know she mentioned that there's a lot of of um, of papers sometimes to sign. It's not a humongous chore. Okay. Uh, you know, it, it, sometimes a pile arrives, and uh, we go and do it, and then because it's a deadline, and then when once the deadline uh, closes, then there may be another pile of papers. But it's not like we have to be there for hours. Okay. No. Okay. No, it's not. And, All right. You know, we, I usually know uh, around the dates of when we have to do these signatures. It's usually in March, Lucy, when the petitions um, come. Uh, usually, um, well, it depends. We did get a schedule from the state the other day, and I can forward that to you all. Okay. As to when the nomination papers are coming out, because we get nomination papers, Francine, for candidates. Mm -hmm. And then we also get petitions for the questions that are going to go on the ballots. So okay. it depends on who's bringing them in. I mean, I know, um, I don't know, Bill, do you, I think when, Sylvia, when you weren't here, we would get a stack. I think, Bill, you might remember, we would get a stack like this thick mm -hmm. of petitions oh. Oh, for, question, for questions. Okay. So, um, okay. But yeah. I'll email you all the, the schedule that I got from the elections division that has um, the calendar. Wonderful. And it's for the primary and for the um, presidential, but it also has the deadlines of stuff. Okay. So, yeah, um, so yeah, knowing that in advance, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, gives me the chance to to know if I'm going to be here or not. Yeah, Mostly yep. I'm around. You know, this is mm -hmm. the time that I've gone away. Yeah, uh, and it was, you know, it didn't interfere with this with the signature. Mm -hmm. One one of the things, and, and you know, down, I guess I'm going to move this up and continue talking about this review of board responsibility, board of registrar's responsibilities. Mm -hmm. If we, you know, continue talking about this, even though it's at the bottom of the agenda. Um, what happens, Francine, is you know people get their signatures, their papers with the signatures in the petition, and then they come to to Lucy's office, and uh, they need all those names need to be checked against the state's. Um, uh, I want to call it website, but it's not called that. Uh -huh. It's you know verification. They have to be verified by verified. The state. That's the uh -huh. word. And uh -huh. so. Um, you know, I've been shown how to do it, and but there's only one computer in that office that has that, and mm -hmm. it is the program. Unfortunately, is not very friendly. <laughs> you know, it is it, not. Uh, I mean, you know, Lucy has used it. Uh, he, you know, she's more familiar, mm -hmm. but um, it it is not cumbersome. It's just you have to be very careful what you click and what you should mm -hmm. not click. Yeah, and so. Even though I've learned how to do it, I decided that Lucy uh, is much more qualified than I am uh, in order to, I'm afraid of making mistakes. And so the trust is on Lucy and, and her assistant and mm -hmm. doing it. Mm -hmm. And they, I've seen them doing it so mm -hmm. fast, so good that, you know, it will take me days to do it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and so, uh, you know, but you can go through, through, you know, sit with them and they'll show you how to do it to have an understanding mm -hmm. of what it is all about. Yeah. So, you know, not to be in the dark. But and no one from the Board of Registrars is there when it's being done? No. Not all the time. I've no. been there. Not all the time. Yeah. Not all the time. I right. mean, sometimes when they're doing it, I pop in and right. just sit and check. It's not that I'm checking. I just, mm -hmm. you know, continue familiarizing myself mm -hmm. with, with the process. That's all. Yeah. But not not checking over the shoulder. Okay. Uh, well, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm only asking just because I don't know what the regulations say. And well, do they say anything at all about that? No, but, and with that being said, there's one state computer and there's, yes. we have logons. So the 
there's two logons and we don't want so many logons going out there to, not that it's a trust issue with the board of registrars, but you know, there's one computer and, you know, for you to go over there while Sabina's, you know, I mean, you can watch her, but yeah. you won't be able to get in. But, okay. um, uh, and <laughs> the state is rolling out a new system, <laughs> July oh. 26, for verification, for everything, for entering voters, for entering new people into the system, for verifying uh, signatures. So we're learning a whole new way of doing everything. So, okay. but- Is it gonna be friendlier? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, one of the items that's on there is if we put in a name, and I'll, I can show you when we do it. When we put in a name, the computer will come up with every single name that has a 99.9% .9 match to the name that we put in. And um, we have to make sure that that is, cause it, be, it can be off by a middle initial. And so we have to make sure that that's, um, that's the one we're looking for. And the other way that we verify is if, because what we're verifying is that that registered voter is a registered voter in our town. And if we can't verify their signature, their their name, we and their signature, there's four codes, and it's um, unable to read, you know, legible signature. Um, this person is not at this uh, red um, address. Um, this person is from another community, um, and we'll show you when okay. when you get to do that. But we verify on their voter registration cards or when they sign up to register to vote and electronic sign in the system, we have their signature online. So we can verify that way. Um, but basically we're verifying that they are a registered voter in this town to register to vote. And we've had a few that aren't registered voters in this town. So, um, but once they come out, it'll be easier to show you how it's done. So. Yeah. Um, but then once we verify them, you are all certifying them. You're certifying the verification. And then they go to the state. The state has the last say. So if the state says, oh, no, I, I don't like these. And they, they can like, nope, we're not, we're not taking these. No. So, and that's for, I mean, that's not for the local, the local we have the decision on, but the the state and the um, presidential, the state, they have the say. So it's a little bit a lot. Sorry, I'm throwing at you, but you'll get it. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah the, the the other thing that we we you know some of our responsibilities sometimes is like when there's general elections, uh, presidential mm -hmm. elections, uh, you know, helping in the office. Uh, either stuffing envelopes or, or checking the, the white cards uh, when they come or not come, like with the census, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a, a number of details like that, uh, which mm -hmm. I, you know, I find it interesting. Mm -hmm. um, if there's not enough volunteers or, or people mm -hmm. that can help, uh, yeah. we spend time there in the office uh, mm -hmm. working on that, or we yep. move to the select board room and mm -hmm. spread ourselves there shut the door, nobody can come in, uh, and, mm -hmm. and we work in there. I've, I've done that more than once. Yeah. Uh, um, Francine, did you read, did you read through the manual? And, and I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, and I, I highlighted it. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. Um, yeah, I had a couple of questions, but I can, mm -hmm. we can do that offline, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's fine. And it's easier to do it when um, face to face or when paperwork is in front of us, yeah. that kind of thing. So, um, okay. but yeah. So another thing that I make a note I remember um, is that we all need the new um, what you call it list of of, um, of uh, you know the updated list of uh, registered voters. The updated booklet. Uh, oh, the new um, 
Street list, yes. Street list. Yes. Street list. Yes. I have to order that from the, um, what's the printer in Northampton? Uh, Paradise. 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 Yes. Yeah, I have to order it um, because we were doing it here and yeah. it was, um, I don't want to waste paper here. So it's cheaper to do it through them and order the copies through them. Um, so I just have to order them and get that done. So, okay. But right. I, I we'll thought get that about that when I was yeah. putting my paperwork together. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. All righty. So, um, and you know, other stuff may be coming up that I can't remember right now in regards to our responsibilities. Um, I mean, in regards to responsibilities on, on, on voting day, on election day, uh, we, we, we don't, and you probably read that on, on, on your manual, uh, we're not allowed to you know, be near the people that are voting or be near the, the, the election workers, um, but we can be there when the, when the results come out, you know, there's a special place mm -hmm. for us to stand in there. Um, you know, and, and there's other things, minor things that I can't remember right now, but I know they're mm -hmm. going to come up when, mm -hmm. when the moment happens, when, when, mm -hmm. when that activity happens, whatever activity that I can't remember. Um, I mean, when, if there's a recall, if somebody wants to have a recall, yes. um, you are in charge of that. They have to file the petition with, with the registrars, so the registrars are in charge of that. Um, I'm trying to think. It's been a busy morning. Um, it really it hasn't yeah. happened during during my no. tenure. No, I did get inquiries yeah. on yeah. somebody. Color. To, what? Hello. But not, a, but not official. Not not a, not an official uh, petition. No, no. Maybe you want food. You want to go. Run. I'll do that. I'm on the phone. No, Bye -bye. I, I did get somebody then that wanted to do a recall. They wanted to find out the procedure. That's all, oh, but see. they never followed. They through. never filed it. Okay, right. No. no. So. Okay, so um, election of officers, which is the next thing. I'm out of order over here, but uh, <laughs> uh, we need to select a chair and select a, um, how would you call it? Clerk, secretary. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yep. the board. Francine, so, what do you want to be? <laughs> Bill, what do you want to be? I'm I kidding. will I will volunteer for clerk. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. All right. I motion Perfect. for Francine to be the clerk. I second that. All right. All in favor? All in favor. Aye. Mm. Ex <laughs> okay. Excluding today's meeting, though. Yes. I'm voting oh, yes. with the next meeting. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. I motion and Sylvia second. Yes. Okay. And then the next one is uh, chair. I motion Sylvia to be the chair. Second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, hold on. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bill. Um, then we go on to the monthly schedule. I emailed you right before the meeting. Mm -hmm. and I put together a schedule. Um, and um, I just want, yeah, I did I did put all the dates. Yeah. It's the second Wednesday of the month. Uh, I should have put at the top, or you know, I'm telling you now, it's it's a flexible schedule. In the, and the reason why I'm saying uh, flexible is that if there's nothing um, you know, eminent that we need to talk about or meet about, we don't have to meet, um, you know, just for the sake of meeting. And we have done, I think, that a couple of times in which we know that, mm -hmm. you know, there's not going to, for example, this year, the, the local election already happened. Mm -hmm. We already reviewed that. Um, and there's not going to be uh, elections in the fall. So mm -hmm. we don't need to prepare ourselves uh, mm -hmm for anything, like for example, um, I just thought about another responsibilities. Um, right, right, 
before the elections, uh, the machines need to be checked. Uh, and by that, we yep. all, all, all the registrars show up, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you know, to, we all are giving, I want to call it fake ballots. Uh, no, they're tests. We do test ballots. Sorry, test ballots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Nope, they're test, test ballots. Yep. Yes, test ballots. Mm -hmm. They're actual ballots that are filled out um, mm -hmm. by us or by Lucy, correctly or incorrectly. Mm -hmm. and, and then we test them on the machine. Each one of us takes a chunk of that, I don't know, 20, something like that. And we do it twice. We do it in both machines, uh, you know, to and, and on purpose, sometimes we do mistakes to see, to check the machine. Right. And so that's another one of our responsibilities. And this year, there's not going to be election in the fall. So we, we, we don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, yeah. And so, uh, you know, uh, ergo why it's a flexible. Uh, okay. You mm -hmm. know, um, and, and if I can just say that, um, so we do that, Francine, four days before the election. We have to do it no, no more than four days, you know, so it's got to be at least four days before. Um, and um, we, we get the registrars to come. Uh, members of the Democratic Republican Party are invited to come. I know um, Janet has come because she's um, the chair of the Democratic Party or committee. Yep. Um, I think she still is, right? I think. Yeah. Yes. Janet? Yep. So, um, but we do that four days before and it's by law has to be done. It has to be done. And we test it's not the machine, it's the tabulator for the machine right. that we're testing. Right. Right. And we were told um, after this election, and I'm going to back it up a little bit after um, we go to the monthly meeting things, that um, they do not want us to do any more errors. Oh, They want us to just fill in the ovals don't want us to do write-ins. They want us to just fill in the ballot like we are voting because um, that's what the machine is supposed to do. It's supposed to pick up everything. So when we're writing in stuff, it should pick it up as a write-in. You know what I mean? So um, so that's what they told us that the, um, the, the whatever he is, the representative. So he, he said, you know, just fill in the ovals and um, don't do any more like write-ins where uh, they don't circle in the write-in, the oval, when they write in the name, just write it in and then circle the circle. So um, just some tips that he told us. So okay. Okay. for the test, yeah. But, the but when time. we test, when we test the machines, we'll, We'll show you. Yeah. So we're probably not going to do it until next spring. May. Yeah. yeah. May. Next May. Yeah. yeah. Or no, March. 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 Yep. The primary is March 5th. But I'll send you that calendar and then you'll see the dates of everything. So, okay. March 5th is the primary, um, the presidential primary. So, oh, fun. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so do you want to do, do you want to vote on like our monthly meeting times or do you want yes. to do yes. flexible? Do you want to vote that it's going to be flexible or? Um... Well, you know, this represents the second uh, uh, Wednesday of the month. Just okay. like we have done it in the past. Sometimes okay. for one reason or another, we have mm -hmm. changed them when we all agree. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and I did uh, 2024, uh, until March, when is Francine's uh, uh, date, her year okay. on on, uh, and then okay. you know if you want to stay with us and and, mm -hmm. and I'll do the rest. That's why I stop in March 13 because according to the regulations, that's when our all of us, uh, the three of us, up for members up. are up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we're up. Okay. So that's okay. why I stop there. So. Okay. Uh, do we all agree on these dates and, and the flexibility of it? Sure. 
No Certainly. Problem. Okay. Good. Okay. All so, right. All in agreement? Yep. I'm, I'll motion that we um, pass the calendar. So we approve the calendar. Forward. Okay. Okay. The, the um, schedule. Does someone want to second it? I'll second it. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Me All too. Right. All righty. All right. Then uh, the last thing, you know, I put possible full petitions, but I already, we already spoke about that. And Lucy, you were going to uh, give us some information about your yesterday meeting at the state level. Yes. So yesterday I got to go to the state house in Boston. Um, they did Clerks on the Hill, um, which was so amazing. They haven't done it since 2011. Um, and that was the last time, the last time it was done, Eileen Kucher was this clerk. So um, it's where all of the clerks are invited to go to the state house and um, the state representatives are there and uh, they got to fill us in on some of the election laws that are, have been put forward that are, that uh, town clerks have been asking to put forward because um, they've been taking surveys and um, there was 101 town clerks there. So, All right. um, yeah, so it was really nice. Or town city clerk, town Oops. and city clerks. But um, it was good. It was a very good turnout. We we had um, we met and we talked and then we they gave us like a box lunch and then we got a tour of the state house and um, we got to meet with our state um, senator, um, our, our representatives for our uh, counties. Unfortunately, John Vilas wasn't there or Kelly Pease. So, but I think they were here. I think John was doing a VFW event and yeah, I'm not sure. Good. Yeah, I'm not sure where Kelly was here, I think back, back in Westfield. Um, but they talked about a lot about um, mail-in ballot um, and because the mail-in ballot postcards that they were sending out, the state was, was sending out in 2020, in January, they sent out a ballot to all registered voters for the March primary, or no, for the September primary. I think they sent it out in March. Um, and it would say, do you want to um, receive a mail-in ballot for September? November or all elections. And so if you didn't choose, if you chose one and you didn't choose the second one in July, they would send you another one for November. And so a lot of the clerks got a lot of feedback and reported it to the state saying that it was confusing, which it was because people were writing to us saying, I already got this. Why are you sending me another one? I don't want this. I already filled this out. And, you know, a lot of people were saying that, you know, people were getting mad at them. I mean, we had phone calls too, where I already got this. Why am I getting another one? Why? I don't want to do this. Or, because so, you didn't read the directions. Well, <laughs> so a lot of clerks in the survey said, why can't we have one postcard go out? It will save postage, one. It will save time. It won't confuse the voter. But one postcard go out at the beginning of the year saying, do you want to vote by mail for all elections this year, or do you want to opt out of voting by mail altogether? So that's something they want to put forward through the House, but not with that exact wording, um, but something like that. that um, they also, but with that message, some, yeah, with that, yeah, just because, I mean, we got a lot of returns that, you know, people were just, I don't want to do this. Or why are you sending me this? And it was just a waste of money and a waste of time. And then um, they also talked about early voting, in-person early voting, because we would have early voting here during regular business hours, you know, during 2020. And, um, and we didn't have it, we did have it for 2022, but, when we had it on that on those Saturdays, we had 10 people come in and we had someone here from nine to one. So 
they want to put forward, maybe reducing the hours or if changing the hours to when more people will um, are more apt to come. Like if because we're closed on Fridays, so have it on Fridays and Saturdays instead of a required amount of time. The state has a requirement of time. If you're if you're a population of 6,000 to 10,000, you should have four hours required. And you could do that on Saturday and Sunday, or you can do it all on Saturday. That's that's how it was. So we did, and it has to be two weekends in, in a row when it's the general election. So we did two Saturdays, nine to one. And um, so clerks took the survey and we're like, is there a way that we can maybe figure out how the hours can be different. So, you know, they're they're trying to put together, the election commission is trying to put together something to send out to us and see what we think. Um, the other thing was um, unfunded costs, you know, uh, because a lot of clerks said, you know, we're taking money out of our, our expenses to pay for, paper and postage. And yes, we do get a minimum amount back for postage, but it's not covering everything. When we have to register voters that register to vote and they're just registering for the that election coming up, we always have to send out an acknowledgement letter. It's costing us money for paper. It's costing us money for ink. It's costing us money for postage. And those aren't, man, those aren't mandated. I mean, they're mandated, but we have to pay for it out of our expenses. So that's another thing we're trying to get the state to pay for. Mm -hmm. So a lot of good talk yesterday. And um, so it was good. Um, I can email you what some of the stuff was, to, you know, what the clerks are wanting to talk about, want the, want the state to talk about, um, because they sent us an email. And we got a survey. I can send you the results of the survey okay. so you guys can see what it, what it came out to. Thank you. Um, yeah, but it was very good. We, you know, the state house is absolutely beautiful. I know, don't know if you've ever been in it, but it is amazing. And I got to see the town of Southampton's town flag. And I didn't know we had one. And I texted Ed while I was there. I it's said, do we have a town flag? And he said, I don't really know that. And I said, hmm. That's and he said, yeah. And I said, so if we don't, maybe we should have one. He said, yeah, I've been thinking about that for two years. Maybe we should, you know, have a contest or something. But I actually did find it because they have a, a computer where you put in your town name and they they pulled it up. So I was thinking about putting it on the uh, community page. So if people don't know what it looks like, I can we can show it to them. Do so, it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So maybe we can have one, you know put it up and with with the Massachusetts yeah well, I don't know but yeah it's pretty neat so but that's all I have right now about yesterday so just some new stuff going to be coming through that's all you got to be prepared thank you, for. thank you for the update yep good information yep. really good information yeah. and that, so. that finally <clears throat> the state is <clears throat> and you know after 20 uh 2011 the last time about mm -hmm. time that they got the clerks together and yeah you know listen yeah. listen to all yeah. the proposed changes for the yep. better mm -hmm. yeah good, good. good. Yep. well yep. i guess that's all any questions about that folks no. nope. and i guess you know the things are going to come up as as our activities mm -hmm. move forward so yeah so um Having a uh, talk about the monthly schedule, do we have anything pending for August? Um, no. For July. July. Yeah. July is I'm coming. Sorry, up. July. July. <laughs> yeah. Um, keeping a month. Anything pending for July? No. No. Okay. No. Uh, do we need to meet in August? Um, I don't okay. know. Okay, so so why don't we just say yes, we meet in August, and, okay. and then as as the time you know, this part of the month, and then yep. August, 
I'll be in touch with you, Lucy. And if things come up uh, mm -hmm. and we need to meet, we'll yep. meet. If not, we'll let you know in advance that yep. there's no need to meet. Okay. So do we want to just put in a tentative date, August 9th? Is yeah. that for you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the second Let's Wednesday. Put it in there. Yeah. And, you know, as I said, flexible. If, okay. if there's no need, uh, we can just skip that month and meet on September in September. Okay. Just, you know, okay. keep, keep it open, put it in your calendars, save the date, yep. uh, all those dates. And then um, if there's no need ahead of time, mm -hmm. I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. All so right. We're ready to adjourn at 11.50. Um, I'll motion to adjourn the registrar's meeting for June at 11.50. I'll second. second. Okay. This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers.